Well, hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply for Medicaid if you are in Florida. So this video is designed for individuals that is disabled on Medicare or if you are a senior on Medicare. So you may ask, Patricia, why do I need to apply for Medicaid when I have Medicare? I'm glad you asked that question. So there is so much great benefits when you have both Medicare and Medicaid. There is power in having both, okay? Number one, Medicaid will pay your Medicare Part B premium for you. Yes, you will not have to pay for your Medicare Part B because Medicaid will pick up the tab, okay? So that is great and that can be very helpful to a low income senior, okay? So that is one thing. And another thing is you can apply for a Medicare Advantage plan if that plan is available in your area. Of course, it depends on your zip code in your state. So these plans are designed for individuals with both Medicare and Medicaid. And these plans are called dual special needs plan. The hint word is dual for someone that has both Medicare and Medicaid. And when you're on a dual special needs Medicare Advantage plan, most of your co-pays, if not all, will be zero co-pays, which is very helpful for a senior that is low income. Now let's talk about the qualifications for Medicaid. You probably already know the qualifications for Medicare, but in this video, we're going to focus on Medicaid. So you do have to be a low income individual to apply for Medicaid, okay? So right now, the income is about $1,700 a month. If you make less than $1,700 a month, then you do qualify for Medicaid, okay? And you have to have less than $9,000 in your bank. You can have one house and one car, okay? And the $1,700 is based on a single individual, okay? If you are a couple, then the income requirements is a little higher so yeah let's get right into it this video is focused on individuals that live in florida so if you're in florida then you came to the right video if you want to apply for medicaid so we're going to go ahead and get to our computer here and we're going to go to my access okay it's where you going to apply for your medicaid application this is the DCF, which is Department for Children and Families, where you can apply for food stamps and you could apply for um, cash assistance and you could also apply for Medicaid, okay? Let's get right into the computer. The first thing you're going to do when you go ahead and want to apply, you have to create an account, right? So you're going to create an account. You're going to put in your email address. You do need an email address. So if you don't have one, go ahead and create yourself a email address right so you're going to put in your email address they're going to send you a code to your email just to make sure that this is in fact you once you put in the code then you're good to go then you can go ahead and log in to your account okay it's going to start out with an application summary and basically it's going to have little sections where you have to complete it has your information it's going to have a yellow start button you're going to hit that start button and you're going to go ahead and start the application and then once you're done with that section it's going to automatically go to the next section okay so the first part they're going to ask you some information i want you to click on these three boxes when you apply okay the first box is food stamps now this is optional if you don't want to apply for food stamps that is totally fine well, you could go ahead and click on that it's going to say food assistance okay and it's going to have snap in parentheses okay and the next box that you must check to apply for this medicaid is going to say medical assistance for the age blind or disabled so if you're disabled and you have medicare you definitely want to check this box if you're 65 and older this is considered age you definitely want to check that box so check the box that says medical assistance for the age, blind, and disabled, okay? Now, the third box I want you to check is the Medicare Savings Program. The Medicare Savings Program is what's going to pay for your Medicare Part B premium. So once you complete this application and you get approved, 
What's going to happen, they're going to send this to Social Security. It's going to take Social Security about three months to get caught up, to catch up. And then you will see an increase in your Social Security because of the Part B premium will start being paid by Medicaid, which is really nice. Like I said, you're going to go through your application summary. It's going to ask you about individuals that's living in your household if it's just you of course you're going to just put yourself it's going to ask you about your household details it's going to ask you about your income how much is your social security check it's going to ask you about your expenses so how much you're paying for rent how much you're paying for your light bill how much you're paying for um, any medical expense as well it's going to ask you if you have any assets so if you have a home a car you're going to actually put in that information once you're done with the application it's going to ask you to upload some documentation if you have that documentation go ahead and upload it if you don't just go ahead and submit the application as is and after that it's going to allow you to review your application and then it may ask you a few questions to make sure that you are in fact the person filling out the application like it may ask you a few things like in 1995 did you register this vehicle and things like that it's going to ask you if you want to vote and all of that then you're going to go ahead and submit the application and then it's going to take four to six weeks for you to get a answer okay please take a moment to like this video give it a big thumbs up if you are enjoying the content it really helps others to find this video and it helps the channel a lot thank you so much I'm moving along so after you're done with the application within a week or so you should get a letter from DCF right Department of Children and Families and most likely they're going to ask you for a financial release so you're going to have to sign this document and they may ask you for additional documentation as well such as citizenship such as your bank statements and such you definitely want to follow the instructions and do what they say because if you don't then you're just going to get automatically denied you may want to fax this information over or mail it off pay attention to the deadline okay you have to make sure you pay attention to the deadline usually they give you about three days to send over the information once you send over the information then it takes four to six weeks for them to process your application and if you are approved you get your approval letter and your Medicaid card if you have full Medicaid if you have partial Medicaid you would not get a Medicaid card in the mail you will get a Medicaid um, number okay and also if you got approved for food stamps EBT you would get that card in the mail as well so once you are approved for Medicaid then you could go ahead and apply for that special plan I was talking about the Medicare Advantage plans the DSNAP plans dual special needs plans and like I said most of your co-pays will be most likely zero and you can get extra perks and benefits as well such as the healthy foods card so yeah in today's video I explained to you step by step on how to apply for Medicaid in Florida so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you learned something new today if you like the video please give it a like and if you know anyone that needs this information, please share this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to answer your question. If you need any assistance, give our office a call. We'd be more than happy to assist you. At the end of today's video, there are two videos that you can also watch. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see me again and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.